Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, we stream BeamNG on Twitch and we talk a lot about RC stuff and we do a whole bunch of different things on stream. So thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you check out some of the other videos. I will preface this. This is just for the qualifying loop. Lap one, two, and three will all have separate videos. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you through everything you need to know to run the JTMW TV version of King of the Hammers on the JTMW King of the Hammers map. This is not on the Johnson Valley regular map. You'll have to go to our Discord to download this, and it's free for download as always. If you enjoy it, if you want to support us, if you want to say thanks, uh, subscribe on YouTube, hit our socials. All of our socials are on screen, you can see there. Um, follow me everywhere but in real life. That'd be awesome. Okay, so. Once you load into King of the Hammers, if you guys have any questions, you know, you go through your main menu, free roam, and you just click King of the Hammers. Uh, same thing, it looks exactly like Johnson Valley, uh, but it's a little bit different. Okay, once you load into the map, you will spawn uh, underneath the uh, nice starting banner here, and you'll press the M key. Now, this is a new thing, relatively new, um, but it'll spawn you, take you up to the top of the ceiling here. And I'm actually going to uh, move my webcam here just a little bit. And I'm going to put myself up in the top right so you guys can see everything. And I'm going to have to move my give me your Twitch primes and all that kind of fun stuff. What's up, Speedball? It's good to see you, man. Um, all right. So when you press M on the King of the Hammers map for JTMW TV, you will see that at the very bottom, there are four new time trials. And those time trials start with qualifying. They go all the way from lap one, two, and three. In this video in particular, we're gonna focus on qualifying. If you're not familiar with what qualifying is, it's basically how they determine the starting position for the race. So if you qualify 10th for the day, you have the 10th fastest time in qualifying, you're gonna start 10th off the line on race day. So that's what we're gonna do first. Um, you can see it says my best time here is 17 seconds. Uh, that's not exactly correct. Now, I will say this. Missions in BMNG as of the date of this recording, they're kind of scuffed. So do exactly what I do and I promise it'll make it work. If you do this in a different fashion or you have a different way to make it work, let me know down in the comments below. But this is how I've got it to work because sometimes it won't show up on the map. Uh, so you click on King of the Hammers qualifying lap over here and then immediately go over here to the right, click on set route and then quick travel. Set route and quick travel. So what this will do is this will spawn you right on top of the little blue circle. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't if you're in free roam, but this is the best way to do it. Now I have the qualifying one kind of out on its own and the other three are all in the same place. You'll just click on view details. Now there's a few things here to note. Um, for the qualifying, you'll know that obviously you just have to hit start mission. You wanna make sure it's on one lap and you can run all of the laps in reverse. So for qualifying, we're not gonna run it in reverse and uh, everything looks good and we're just gonna hit start and we're gonna run one lap in the qualifying loop here. Hey, great, cool, it keeps track of all your times, your attempt numbers and your best time. This is pretty nice. Hey, let's try this again. We're gonna run one lap through the King of the Hammers qualifying course. If you can't tell already, um, I did straighten that section out because I think that section was kind of crap from the get-go. Gonna have the big kicker here. Now, one of the cool things, and it's worth mentioning, is the you will only see the current gate you have to hit and the next one. That almost was terrible. That was terrible. If you guys don't know, I'll figure out how to drive here about halfway through stream. Uh, it's the real trick is when I can't see anymore because I've been drinking too much. Uh, I can actually drive better.
Now, I'm also gonna do another video that's gonna go out to the YouTube um, about how to actually make missions. So if you don't like my laps or wanna make your own laps on the map, you can feel free to do so. And yeah, I'm not going very fast. I'm uh, trying to do a demo here rather than set the land speed record. Uh, I am excited because we're gonna have uh, the leaderboards. I'm gonna build an attachment for our Discord to have live leaderboards in all of our stuff. So that way you can report your time, you can prove to me that you got the time, um, then you'll be on the leaderboards. And uh, I'll have special roles in my Discord for our leaders. And as you can see, it's it's uh, it's about as reminiscent of the real qualifying loop that as I could get it. Uh, I think it's it's not too bad. Just like that. There we go. All right. So just now, two minutes, thirty seconds, and uh, yeah, two thirty-five fifteen. Cool. There it is. So that is the King of the Hammers JTMWTV qualifying loop and how to run qualifying as well. Like I said, whenever you're done, go ahead, send it in the Discord, show me proof of your time, um, all that kind of fun stuff, and we'll get you on the leaderboards. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate it, like us, subscribe, all that kind of dorky stuff, uh, and we'll get going from there.